Hi, Brian Bush, field agronomist for Southern Indiana. Want to talk to you today about tank contamination, comparing the 2,4-D, the Enlist system, with the Dicamba, the Extend system here. Got a nice field demonstration here behind us here. I think it's worth taking a look at, at how important tank cleanout is to crop safety. In this block, we're demonstrating what happens if you have a half percent spray solution of Ingenia left in your sprayer when you go to non-dicamba soybeans, non-extend soybeans. So in this case, it's Ingenia at a half percent rate sprayed onto Liberty Link soybeans. This is kind of like what happens if you have five gallons left in a thousand gallon tank. We made this application 30 days ago. You can still, you can see here after 30 days, we're still seeing some of that cupping that comes with off-target dicamba onto a susceptible crop. In this block, we're showing a half percent spray solution of Enlist 1 sprayed onto Liberty Link soybeans. Again, Liberty Link soybeans are not tolerant to the Enlist trait, but soybeans inherently are 23 times more tolerant to 2,4-D found in the Enlist 1 herbicide than they are to dicamba found in the Extend system. Ingenia, Fexapan, Extendamax. So after 30 days, we're not seeing much difference, if anything, as compared to the soybeans around these. In this block, we're showing we've increased the rates. This is now a 5% spray solution of Enlist 1. So kind of like showing what if you leave 50 gallons in a 1,000 gallon tank. And here, we're still not seeing that classic 2,4-D leaf strapping appearance. Again, it's important to clean out your tanks before you switch from herbicide tolerant to herbicide susceptible crops. Um, but the safety that comes with the Enlist system, with soybeans being more tolerant naturally to 2,4-D than they are to dicamba, really shows up in this block. And this block is showing a 5% spray solution of Ingenia. Like if you had 50 gallons left in a thousand gallon tank. You can still see that classic cupping symptomology that comes with the with dicamba herbicides 30 days after application. And many of these soybeans inside this block have not grown since that day of application. They were at it's the exact same size 30 days ago. So if you're going to be spraying the approved dicamba herbicides, Ingenia, Fexapan, Extendamax, it's very important to make sure you clean that, that tank out thoroughly. Follow the guidelines before switching to a susceptible crop. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.